So, Ketki, first of all, thank you very much for uh, joining me in this discussion today. Uh, for the viewers, Ketki uh, is currently pursuing her master's in computer science at uh, USC, University of Southern California. And uh, she has done her bachelor's in computer engineering from WESIT, that is Vivekanand College of Engineering, uh, Mumbai University. And you graduated in 2020, uh, yes, June, July. Yeah. Okay, or actually yeah. October because of the COVID thing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and sorry. then for a year and a half, uh, you worked with a startup called Venture. And uh, then now, uh, and in May 2022, you joined US. Yeah. Got right. it. So most students joined their program in fall or spring. So when you joined in May, was it anything different uh, that then, you know, for the other students who probably came in fall or who had already been in spring? Uh, so the only difference was that our class size was a little bit smaller. So usually the fall and spring classes have class size of around say 100, 120 here at USC. My class size was of around 50 or 60 students. Okay. So that was the only difference. And uh, I was supposed to complete one course in uh, almost a period of two months. Okay. But it went well and the course was relatively easier. Okay. So yeah. That was not a big problem for me. Okay. So, but how, how is the overall environment at USC? I mean, being a really top ranked school, is it very difficult, competitive, courses are easy? What has been your experience at USC? Yeah, so it depends on the course. Some co courses are really very competitive, but the professors and the teaching faculty is good as well. So if if they are teaching you properly and if they are covering a lot of things in class, they are expecting you to be uh, really diligent with your studies and perform well in exams. So there are uh, courses like uh, algorithms and there is uh, another course operating system, which is said to be one of the best courses here, but they are quite challenging. And then there are other courses which are relatively easier, but they could be uh, intensive in terms of assignments. So, yeah. Fine. So, uh, and, and how has been, I mean, the USC course, is a, I mean, the program at USC is a 27 credit program, right? 28 credits. 28 credits. Uh, so, generally, how is the timeline, I mean, in terms of uh, number of terms uh, that you take to complete or how is the, you know, the schedule go there? Okay, I'll tell you how the general schedule goes. Hmm. So, if we say if you join in fall, my case was different. Okay. But let's say uh, some person joins in fall, then uh, in one semester you are supposed to take two courses, and okay. each course holds four credits. So basically, okay. you need to complete eight credits in one major semester, and okay. major semesters are fall and spring, okay. and summer is considered as a minor semester. So okay. in the minor semester, you can do one course. And in the major semester, you are supposed to do two courses. Okay. So, you join in fall, you complete two courses in that fall. In the next spring, you do another two courses. This way, you complete 16 credits. Mm -hmm. Then you have summer in which you either can intern or you can do another course. So, if say, suppose you do another course, you will complete another four credits. Okay. And then you are left with two more subjects to be completed, which you'll do in fall. So, like the next board. Fine. So, and how is your schedule is a little different? Because you joined yeah. in summer. So, instead of taking two courses in my first semester, I had to complete one course. Okay. I had an option of doing two courses as well, but I opted for okay. doing one course. Okay. So, I did one course in uh, summer. Then I did two courses in fall. Okay. Then now I'm doing two courses and I'm left with two more courses to be completed. Okay which I'll be completing in the semesters to come. Yeah. Oh, okay. But generally, most students uh, do only two courses in a semester or there are students who do three also? No, it is not allowed here. You have to take uh, two courses only. Oh, okay. I mean, you, you cannot take, take two only. You can't go more. You can't take extra credits and finish your program faster. That is not allowed. At least. No, at least not in my, uh, my branch. Okay, not in the computer department. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fine. And and currently, and you also have been working as a graduate, I mean, as a teach, research assistant at uh, USC. Yeah. So, I mean, the general notion is that getting student jobs or 
the research assistants positions are a little difficult at usc so is that true or many students get it very easily i would say it is uh, actually easier at usc because there are a lot of on campus jobs available mm. so i have friends at another universities here who are actually finding it difficult to find on campus jobs but at usc most of all uh, international students have a on campus job and the jobs are not that hectic at least in my case they are pretty considerate and um, the you can work for 20 hours a week right. so it's manageable Okay, but your on-campus jobs pay you enough to cover your living cost at uh, USC. Yes, yes, they do pay you enough. Okay, yeah. you if you spend wisely, you even end up saving some okay. amount. Okay, okay. but but generally, your uh, graduate assistant position, that is the research assistant position, uh, they don't come with any tuition waivers. No, they don't. Okay, so you only get a monthly stipend. I mean, an hourly or monthly stipend that you. Uh, Yes, yes. And how is the scenario currently for internships, full-time job search? Because given the market conditions, also in the US, uh, is our students at USC also being at a top school also face that uh, face challenges in finding jobs, or how is how is the scenario right? So honestly, right now everybody here is facing a little bit challenge with mm-hmm. the job scenario. So USC is no different, uh, but. I I don't think uh, school really matters here in US at least because we usually apply through the job portals or the career pages of the companies. Okay. So yeah, and n- given that most of the inter- interviews are now con- conducted online, your location doesn't really matter. At least that is what I have experienced so far. Okay. So no matter you are on East Coast or West Coast, uh, it is pretty much same for everybody. Okay. So yeah. being at USC has uh, you say is not going to is not giving you a very strong or strategic advantage being in LA being in the California area in terms of jobs or currently uh, because most of the interviews are conducted remotely mm-hmm. it is it is not at such an additional advantage previously it used to be okay. because uh, you are then. uh geographically closer to the silicon valley and the major job market so if they want to have interview in personal they they will i mean the cost to relocate you would be lesser on their end right. so that is to work in a way but currently most of the things are happening online so that it's it's not really a big advantage i would say But did job fairs happen on campus right now? I mean, in this current semester or the earlier semester? Yes, yes. So USC has this career fair thing which happens every semester, and it is really helpful. You at least get to know about what different companies are around you and what positions they are hiring for. Okay. So that is really helpful, and people do attend career fairs, and there have been people who are. benefited from the career fair so yeah okay. that is one good thing here okay but the career fair is really i mean there are a lot of companies that participate in the career fair that you see yes yes oh. uh, they do come. but beyond the career fairs i mean you what, what resources do you use for your job search uh so we i mostly use linkedin okay and then there are different uh, job portals here uh, uh, there is a way up Uh, which we use there is zip recruiter and many more so yeah okay. you just have to apply from there also i would uh, like to add for anybody who is coming here mm-hmm. uh, there is a google chrome extension called simplify so okay. i discovered it very late but it is a very good addition to have in your computer it really helps you with job search and job applications okay what is that you said simplify simplify yes okay fine and what uh, uh, i mean in terms of uh, just if, you, if i just ask you in general numbers and not just in your case but in terms of other students also after applying for how many jobs how many interviews do you actually get i mean how many responses do you get for the jobs that you apply so uh, in my case uh, i have received a good number of interviews up till now Okay. So, uh, say let's say I have applied for two hundred jobs. I at least ended up getting 
eight to ten interviews, which I would say is a good number because there are people who have applied for say about three hundred jobs and haven't received a single interview yet because the current market situation is not that great. But uh, yeah, so it really depends on your profile, okay. how well you put across your resume, and uh, also it it is. when you apply for the jobs if if you do it early there is a better chance of uh, getting a, a call from them and these so, are yeah. uh, interviews for full time positions or internship positions that you are talking about so currently i am talking about internship positions and uh, yeah the internship market is difficult right now i would say because the companies are really facing financially difficult to support internship programs the okay. full full time market is still good people are finding jobs it is not that they are uh, absolutely i mean there is uh, no absolute no to full time jobs the okay. the situation with full time is still good okay. so the 8 to 10 interviews that uh, you had mm-hmm. they are still you are still waiting the decisions or uh, what is the situation with those so i got uh, two internships but uh, both both the companies uh, cancel the internship program oh, okay. so <laughs> yeah so, so two conver- yeah. actually converted and then they got cancelled yeah yeah so okay. uh, that is how it goes <laughs> so yeah. you are still on the lookout or you have kind of stopped uh, looking for internships now because summer so is almost I, in, in a few months right in, in yeah yeah so i am right now interviewing with one one of the companies hmm. so yeah let's see fingers okay. crossed so, so all the best for that <laughs> Okay. okay and then you intend to graduate in december yeah and uh, then i mean i mean so the next semester or maybe after the internship you would immediately start with your full time job search uh yeah so the full time job positions mostly open in uh, end of may june okay yeah so around that time i would start applying okay so apart from your classes your job search uh, what else uh, keeps you busy at a uh, usc i mean of course you have a ra position also but beyond that do you still find time to do anything outside um, i mean outside your studies just for i mean going out uh, entertainment and all those things some other activities yeah so usc has this clubs for pretty much everything mm-hmm. they have uh, hikes uh, events happening they have music club dance club so no whatever your address is you will find people with similar liking here i like going to hikes so i have joined a club which usually goes for hikes once twice in a month okay. so yeah that is something i do here okay but you still find yeah. time to do all those things it's not that your uh, job search or your ra position and your studies take up the entire time no 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 you have sufficient time for everything it is okay. it is not very grueling yeah mm mm-hmm. and anything that you would like to add to you know tell students who are actually planning to join this fall so they would be just coming some to usc some to other universities who would be joining in this fall anything that you would like to tell them in terms of that something that you thought that you know you should have prepared before you joined the program just as a, from your experience so uh, yeah so two tips uh first regarding usc so usc has uh, this core structure where you have to make a very strategic decision about what courses you are taking in a semester okay. some courses are very assignment heavy and others are uh, very heavy with their curriculum so okay. they have like lot of uh, tests and online assessments in them okay. so it is better if you go through the syllabus beforehand and plan the order in which you want to take the courses that will really help you to uh, have good grades and manage your time after coming here that is one tip for anybody who is joining usc and uh, for like the gen- like a general tip is that before coming to us make sure that your resume is up to date and your linkedin profile is up to date you do not want to spend time in in these things after coming to us okay. and for computer sci- science students uh, do practice DSA algorithms coding problems before coming here, so you do not end up spending time in these activities. Yeah. I I think that's uh, all. Anything else that you would like to say, or anything that you would like to add? 
yeah, I, I think I'm good. Okay. Thanks a lot, Ketki, again uh, for this short conversation. It was uh, really helpful. Yeah. And if you feel that there's something that you would like to add or something that you think you need to tell or you missed out in the discussion, just feel free to connect again and we'll probably do another round or maybe we can just discuss it over call. Oh, sure. Okay. Yes. Thanks. Thanks yeah. a lot, Ketki. Thank Goodbye. you. Bye.